You know, some of you might be wondering, Frank, how come you've been stuck at 100,000 subscribers for three years? It's so corporate shill clowns like this can steal and plagiarize my ideas without any repercussions because no one knows where the information came from. My YouTube channel. Whenever someone's unique or creative, the elite send pawns to copy that person, censor the original creator myself, and they use those ideas and research to selfishly sell snake oil, deceive the masses. Every word that comes out of this guy's mouth, Liver King, everything this guy has done was introduced years ago on my YouTube channel. And these people would never credit me or mention my name because they're a bunch of thieves and liars. And you know the saying, honor among thieves. They're all a bunch of rotten eggs. It wouldn't sound too good, you know? Hi, hey, I'm Liver King. I'm a steroid addict with ab implants who stole all his ideas from Frank Tofano. You should watch him instead. It's not that credible, you know? The raw meat eating, working out, nutrient density, Wi-Fi EMF stuff, grounding, very specific things. This guy basically took every single aspect of my YouTube channel, kind of like Rat Boy, uh, except it's not as like blatant. You know, he's not copying me word for word, repeating me word for word. You know, just this combination of all these health and lifestyle ideas was very unique to my YouTube channel that I figured out through years of experimenting. And it's been introduced on a massive scale by this clown. And, you know, part of the reason I stopped posting on social media as much is because I was so disgusted seeing my ideas being parroted. And then the nerd cucks click a little button to censor me while I try to call them out. Hey, I, hey, listen, maybe I need to be a little more sensitive. Maybe he needs more money to pay for uh, drugs, steroids, surgical procedures, possibly a better hair transplant. But let's see what these uh, two clown canoes have to say. This is Liver King. What up, primals? For the next 48 hours, I'm going to eat, train, live, and sleep with Liver King. Hold on. The only person that sleeps with the king is Liver Queen. Yes, sir. Ah. Woo! Oh! <laughs> My man, nice to meet you. Thanks a lot for coming. Hey, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right, let's get down on this. So whenever somebody comes to visit, then this is the best gift that I know how to give. Okay. So these are my favorite things. Who needs vegetables when you can get down on test? No way! The thing that has bothered me the most out of all the stuff that's been copied is the eating the raw testicles for testosterone because that is an idea that was uniquely introduced to my YouTube channel. And now you have mainstream influencers on TikTok eating this stuff. So... Uh, you know, that idea did not come from anyone else. That is Frank Tafano original idea, but, uh, you know, I've had enough of these these clowns. And, you know, you wonder, why is a random fitness influencer meeting up with this guy in his $30 million mansion? Because they're all in the club. You know, they're all in the club. Already, already. We got pizzle, which is pizza. We got liver, and we got some fresh bone marrow. I know where we need to start, do you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do some testicles. Oh, I'm going to go big, too. Oh, my gosh, that is good. Okay. Cheers. All right, three, two, one. Done. Yeah. Done. So let's get down on the liver next. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I thought we were going for the penis. I was getting ready for it. Cheers. Cheers. This is gonna make you feel great. Not bad. That's not bad. No. He has a he has a personal chef. He has a butler. <laughs> look, look, this clown would not have needed the ab implants, the hair transplant, if he had actually followed this diet. And maybe his kids would be a little better looking because. Uh, if you guys look back, you know, three, four, five years ago, this guy recently started carnivore. Same with Rap Boy, you know, kind of picking up on the trends to market their nonsense products. Now, can you eat these cooked? The pizza is cooked cook because otherwise you'll just chew on this like a piece of gum for about three days. You know, I never thought I'd be having that problem. <laughs> That's exactly what I imagined it. Is this gonna raise my testosterone? You're gonna grow a second. <laughs> I think a little penis stuck in my tooth. I just put the penis down. Before. Yeah! I gotta watch out! I got to a present, I'm gonna give you this present. Oh my gosh. This man is full of gifts, what a guy. So you came to eat, sleep, train, live like Liver King for a yes. day. So we're gonna get you into these shoes. All right, all right. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah! Let's go! These are like hiking boots. Did not expect to just walk in, eat testicle, and have to work out. This is the Wednesday rest day. So, oh yeah, it's a rest day. Have you been fasting 24 hours? Definitely didn't have Chipotle before this. <laughs> so this is what I call the simulated successful hunt. We're gonna do... 
so if, if you guys are unfamiliar with this guy, you know, obviously he's, he's been using steroids for a long time. Uh, it was revealed a little while ago that he has ab implants. And he used to always wear a hat all the time, and now he doesn't wear the hat anymore, probably because he got a hair transplant uh, to, to kind of shimmy together what was left of his hairline. And the, the biggest secret that these uh, people in the club, the elite, their biggest secret is their use of synthetic hormones. So even if they're not a bodybuilder, even if they're not a fitness influencer, the reason they use steroids and testosterone is because uh, they're poisoning the water with all these chemicals, estrogens, and the food supply, and they can't really avoid it all themselves, so they just use the synthetic drugs that their doctor buddies give them to make up for it. That deserves a separate video on its own. 150, 200, 300 GHD set up, and then we can eat whatever the- If you look at his abs, they're like kind of outlined. It's very irregular. It looks like a, a turtle shell almost. <laughs> I can't flex my abs. That was one of the hardest core workouts I've ever done. Let's eat. Whoa. So we'll talk a about- shark? We got a shark. No way. First of all, I just want to say thank you all for housing us. Me and Joey, we're very grateful. Thank you. This is an amazing opportunity and great friendship to build. I just want to say yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, you're welcome, man. Thank you. Yeah. I've never just, eaten shark oh, in my life. Good. So he's eating shark, and any sort of fish that gets that big is very high in heavy metals. Honestly, the one thing I'm 100% I'm impressed by is how this guy is still walking. You know, Liver King, with the amount of drugs he's taken, the imbalanced diet, all this crap, I'm surprised the guy isn't in a casket yet. Thank you so much. Use your fucking hands. Use, use, there's no rules like that. Here. Wow, all right, we're going in. We got one burger. Hell yeah. All right, we got a femur for some bone marrow. So we're going to have... Some carbs, as you would say. Oh, we forgot the. He's got, he's got a fucking. How much money has this guy stolen selling his his snake oil supplements? This guy has a whole house staff. Oh my god, unbelievable. Yeah. Try the testicle first. Like that's seven butlers. Oh god. Try the primal way first. That was the best testicle I've ever put in my mouth. It's so hypocritical. The dude walks around shirtless, doesn't put on deodorant, tries to act all natural and primal, yet he's shooting Trent in his ass, has ab implants, a hair transplant, and a whole staff of housekeepers. It's comical. It's comical. It's comical. It's a perfect example of how these people deceive you and then how they live behind the scenes. <laughs> She's like, I know. Sorry, buddy. We're doing a primal activator yeah, you yeah. Do it with i'll do it with you of course okay i'm part of the family now so what, what i'm gonna say is yeah yeah boy then you're gonna mash that energy back let's go boys <laughs> you guys ready let's go yeah yeah boy yeah yeah boy, yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. not to be rude or uh, a jerk off but you know the facial development of his kids does not scream uh chad caveman you know more like uh wet We just finished having Lever King dinner, and we are going to head down to do some surfing. We're going to do some wake surfing? That's right, some wake surfing. Are you good at it? I'm okay. I'm about to show everybody how absolutely talented I am at wake surfing. You know, you know, it's weird how I started drinking Mountain Valley water and then everyone and their mother starts drinking it too. It's, what a coincidence, huh? Let me ask you this. What's up? Do you shower? There's no point in showering. But I've not used soap or shampoo or any of that how stuff. How long? I use soap on my hands. But I don't use any of that other stuff. I've not used that other stuff in over a decade. How long? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Yo, I can't tell if I'm high. <laughs> yeah. In pain. Yeah. Oh my god, that is cool. Or if I just had an orgasm. This is 34 degrees. <laughs> if you stayed in that long enough, you die? Oh, there's no doubt you'll be hypothermic. Oh my gosh. Here, you can die in that. <laughs> Liver King tried to kill me. <laughs> oh, hey. Hello. Can you, can you see me? Your connection's not good enough. <laughs> I can't even call Claudia. So it's shielded paint? So that blocks service? It blocks everything. Everything. Yeah, that, that, that's really irritating to me because the, the, the Wi-Fi EMF stuff was something I introduced to my channel and was heavily censored on it. And then this guy just rips it off when I haven't heard anyone talk about it. It's unbelievable. Our girlfriends are going to kill us. I'm hungry. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, I'm hungry too, man. Ladies and gentlemen, with just waking up minutes ago, what are we doing? Honestly, I'm tired of washing these tool bags. So they do it. They do a workout. Time. Right. Let's see the meal. The, we're gonna have some raw eggs. Well, let's do All a right. cheers. I do one at a time. All right. That's chicken poop. Yeah. Guys. What? Guys, you're killing me. If you put just a drop of some rotten fish on it, delicious. Rotten fish? It's, have you ever had fish sauce? This. Ah, oh my fuck. I I can't take. Like, do we genuinely believe? Like every single piece and element of things I've done on my YouTube channel. Like he's even using fish sauce. I feel like I'm losing my mind. He started selling protein powder after I started selling protein powder. He came out with his own bars after I released my best bars. These people are the slimiest, scummiest thieves and liars. It's ridiculous. Put together, cooking it with a medley. Bone marrow, we add some liver, potato pastry. You know, I think the best way to sum this up is, you know, these scumbags are playing with shirtless boys, with butlers and waiters kissing their feet, eating caviar, living like kings, while I'm here in New York getting my ass raided by the federal government because they don't want me to sell the same supplements this guy's been selling for five, ten years. God knows how. It's, it, it's nothing short of disgusting. Um, I mean, I don't know. You know, what's the point? I don't, I don't even think I can even post stuff like this on TikTok because they'll just take the video down. Because uh, they control the platform. But anyway, uh, if you guys do want to support me, you can check out uh, frank com. all my businesses and stuff on there. Search my YouTube channel. Anything this guy's talking about is, was on my channel years ago. Uh, I didn't really want to make a video on this, but it's already got like 3 million views in a day or so. It's, it's insane. It's it's absolutely insane. You know, I thought the Rat Boy stuff was bad enough. You know, PaulSaldino.com, you can see all the plagiarism and stuff he did to me. This was a step up from that. So, you know, Rap Boy was getting hundreds of thousands of views, stealing my stuff. Didn't really detract much attention because he's an ugly loser. And then they take this guy and, and pump it up tenfold with the views. And pretty much everyone has heard of this guy. I even went to a gym the other day and someone was talking about him. It just disgusted me to no end. But it's whatever. I've had enough of this. I'm going to be on a, a beach, find some Colombian girls that have tits bigger than my head and forget all this stuff ever happened.